Welcome to Behind the Jersey. I'm Alex Serge alongside Lindsay Schmidt. This is our second episode. Today we will be taking you through a day in the life of the men's basketball team. Lindsay, you got to sit down with the men's basketball team on their game day. Yes, Alex, I sat down with the three seniors on the team, Nate, John, and Justin, and you know, their preparation was really interesting. Let's give the fans an inside look. He's a very good player, all right? He's that guy that late shot clock, a lot of times he's gonna get the ball in his hands and they may give him a ball. Usually on game days, We'll have shoot around uh, around like three o'clock. So usually, if you have class in the morning, um, you, you wake up, go to class, do whatever in the morning. Then usually we'll have shoot around, like I said, around three p.m. certain song that I listen to, uh, make sure I get my piece of gum, put it in my sock, give it to one of the coaches before <laughs> the game, uh, and just pray. <laughs> I've been doing that for a long time now, ever since high school. It's been kind of one of those things, like, I always buy a pack of gum, like, before the game, day of the game, I just give it to someone before the game. Uh, and I, I only I can only eat it, like, right before the game. I don't know, it's, it's my weird superstition, but I just, it works for me, so I do it. <laughs> Any particular kind of gum is five your favorite? Gum. Five? The green five gum. Very specific. here and no one really knew who each other were and we got here and we lived in Bay State and it was hot and early mornings every day and then you know as is our class is interesting because we kind of showed up here we kind of kept our heads down and we all like worked to earn our spots and that, like none of us had a spot here when we got here and we just all had to work real hard and that brings out the best of us and it's just a sense of like you know we know where everyone's going to be at all times and it's just we know what's going to happen on the court and these are the guys that I know have my back and it's just it's one of those things when you're playing it's easy to know you don't have to worry about these two when you're on the court just have to worry about those other younger guys, you know. <laughs> and not put him on the free throw line. He's very good at drawing contact and finishing the play. Here's big kid, 6'11", big body, left-handed. If we get caught behind him in a situation like that, we want to make sure we get him off the block so he's not going to get it that deep. But we just got to make sure we keep our, our feet in our, in our balance and make sure we shoot over us. We all shoot around. It's probably like an hour and a half for a pregame meal. Um, we eat as a team together, and then we have a little bit of free time. We usually have to be back like an hour and a half before the game starts, um, and then we get on the court about an hour before, and we start warming up. Fire! 
and become best friends with people from you know, all over the place. Like he's from DC, he's from Kentucky, I'm from Connecticut. Like it's just, you know, if you can't from Africa, it's like you just get to meet different people and kind of, I think the best parts of your background kind of rub off on each other. Um, I, to me, that's one of my favorite parts about just being a basketball player. Chewing a piece of green five gum before every game and then handing it off to a teammate. Do you have any weird superstitious things about yourself? You know, Alex, when I was a competition dancer, I used to put neon blue tape on the bottom of my shoes. <laughs> Did it work? No. <laughs> all right, well, that's all we got for today. Thank you for tuning in to Behind the Jersey. I'm Alex Hirsch, alongside Lindsay Schmidt. We'll see you next time.